This is Mr. Burley at St. Elizabeth Catholic School. Today I'm going to go over Autodesk Fusion 360 basics to get the students started uh, manipulating the software. First of all, it's already an isometric view. By clicking the home button, that's what it makes it an isometric view. We've got the top view, back to isometric. We can look at the front view, back to ISO, and so on. The nice thing is, one of the nice features is this. You click on front view, and I can now rotate it this way and this way by clicking, clicking these ones. Get lost, just bring it back. To zoom in and out, of course, it's the standard uh, in and out with the uh, mouse button. You can turn this grid off too if you want to down here. I'm leaving it on, I like it. Shift key down, middle mouse button down, and that's how we orientate. So if you want to flip it upside down and zoom in and work on the bottom, that's how you do it. Now, if you just hold the middle mouse button down, it simply pans around in that certain orientation you're looking at. So if I'm at the top view, I've zoomed in, I want to move over to this side here, I can just middle mouse button and scroll over and then scroll in and so on. So it works quite nice. Uh, the other nice thing is with this was, is the way that this is set up. Uh, I quite like this. This feature here is you can go right down and you can edit things right from here. So you can click on it and see what, this, what the extrusion is. So I can see that's the tunnel going through. I can see this is the hole. So I can right click on that and I can either edit the profile. So I can go in here and change the the initial sketch. Maybe I'm going to change it back to 20 millimeters. And you can also edit the feature. So I can come in here and edit the feature, which changes. So I can maybe change the depth up on that, or maybe I'm going to go right through this time. Or maybe I'm going to add something, bring it up to the top, and maybe I'm going to add something for the time being. I'm going to do that right the way through. So that's how you access it. So you can go along here. You can click this, and you can see which features and which sketch for each feature. So there's the sketch for that feature. There's the, the extrusion for that feature, and there's the ex, uh, sketch for it, right? You can use these tools down here as well. If, if, uh, of course, for panning, you can, you can just do that. You can click these guys down here. Now, the display style. Come down to the display style down here. We've got visual display. We can do shaded. We can do shaded with edges, hidden edges, shaded with, you can do wireframe if you like. All, all the display styles. Personally, I like to work shaded with edges. That's not that one, sorry. I like to do this one. I find it easier, visible edges only. And then when I rotate through, it's not quite so confusing. Over here, we have the, um, if you click model later on, we'll get into this. This is the cam and simulation and so on. But up in here, you click this file, this one. And this is, of course, my project. Uh, these ones in here will be the students' projects. Um, they are backed up on the, on the computer as well as on the cloud. Really nice having them on the cloud because you come in one morning, you lose a hard drive, uh, it's not catastrophic, it's all still there. The other nice thing is any computer you go on, you can bring up your files. So you can be at home at night, show your parents what you're working on at school the next day, so that's quite a nice feature. The This is, of course, the save feature, which is a standard. There's nothing uh, magical about that. Some stuff in there we'll get into a little later. Down here, this is nice too. This is, you, you click these guys down, you can turn everything, you can turn things off and on. So you can go into, turn off your, off and on your disk, your datum, so you can turn them on and off and on, your datum planes. You can come into here and turn off the bodies, shut off the, the bodies. So if you've got more than one thing you're working on, it's becoming confusing, you can shut it off. Yeah, same with here, you come down here, you can turn on the sketches and see, okay, well, there's a sketch for that. You know, I can toggle that sketch off. I can take a look at where all my sketches are. You can leave the sketches active or not active. Uh, if you've traced an image, if you've, uh, say you're drawing the side of a car or something and you've traced it, you can then come over here and turn that off and on, which is another nice feature. Um, the, you can scroll through here and see how the model is built. So you can check that out. That's uh, Everything else is pretty much the same uh, we'd be used to. Um, search feature. This is another, uh, another nice feature I want to bring up. If you're having any problems, and Mr. Burley's busy helping somebody else, you can come up here and you can, there's all different stuff in here, but you can go into here and you can do a search on extra, whatever you like and it'll give you lots of really good information. This search feature is really, really well done. It's very well supported. supported. It's not like other ones where you get to click on search and then you know figure out from there where you gotta go. It, it does a pretty good job. So there is that. Um, I think that's basically it we'll go through in this video. Um, the next video will be drawing basics and so on. And uh, thank you for watching.